Let us be done. Last time you will try this nonsense with me. You hear me? The next time you try, you hit me. Raymond, what is this about? How many times have I told you? Do not touch my stuff without my permission. How many times? What? This is about the car? Yes, this is about my car. My car! Abiodun, you have yours. My car! So what are you going to do? Huh? What are you going to do? I don't want you. You hear me? I ran out of well, and I used your car to take our children our children to school, Raymond. So what is wrong with that? You had the common sense, Biodo, to fill up that car's tank. Oh, Move it, please! Have... Stop harassing me in my office, Raymond. I'm harassing you. Do you realize I just missed out on an important meeting this morning? And you were just wasting some more time standing right there, telling me nonsense about taking your car to take the kids. Shut up! Shut up! Abiodo, shut up! And apologize for once in your life. What, you take my stuff without my permission and then you stand there and have an exchange with me. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? I am your wife for crying out loud and what belongs to you belongs to me. Is it? Now that's not thing you include my car keys, my phone, my credit cards, everything. Everything, that... Raymond. Everything that belongs to you belongs to me. If you have nothing to hide, why are you fretting? This will be the very last time I'm going to warn huh? you about this. The next time you try it, Take my word for it, Abiodo. You'll not like my reaction. Stay away from my stuff! This morning, Alex. Edwin, I'm sorry. All right, it was it was Biodo again. Oh no, Biodo again, brother. For what it's worth, you need to stop letting family affair get interfere with your job. And for the fact is that company doesn't mean you should take it for granted. Come on. I know. All right, I know, and I'm sorry. Oh. All right, I promise you this. This will not repeat itself again. Uh, it, it better. It better. I sent you a memo. Hope you got it. Oh yes, I, I saw it. I'm just um, trying to go through this report and I'll look at it again now, Revert. Okay, fine. Um, oh, yes, that's my name. Raymond, you need to watch it. The accountant came complaining to me about you taking loans without paying back. Raymond, what's happening? I hope he did not mention it at the meeting. Well, he, he was smart enough to brief me before the meeting and I covered up for you. You, you know dad would not want to hear about that. Oh, Alex, what's happened to you, Raymond? Look, I know that I'm a mess right now, but I promise you, I'll clean myself up and I'll be fine, all right? <sighs> I promise you I'm going to pay back that loan. Well. That's okay. Um, we'll talk about that later, Raymond. But, uh, brother, it's becoming too much of you. Raymond, put yourself together. Come on. Thank you. You're taking the kids to school today. I'm taking the kids to school and you're just telling me. Well, since you refused to offer, I thought I'll just tell you to do it today. Well, I don't know what you're talking about, but it's your job to take these kids to school. It's your job, not mine. Raymond, please save me the stress of whose job it is to do what. You have a problem with me taking your kids to school in your car yesterday, so you might as well just tell Oh, I see. So that's what this is about. My car. 
What is wrong with your car? Nothing. Baby, please hurry. They don't like getting to school late. I'll see you later, right? Are you are you serious or something? Baby, it's okay. Have a nice day. Done! This kid is serious. Raymond, you and your wife need to sort things out amongst yourself. You guys are too young to, 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 to live like a cat and dog. We are. We are really young to live like this, I tell you. You know, before I got married, I used to think that marriage was, was made in heaven. <laughs> My friend. So it's thunder and lightning. You have to find a tune. Come on, Raymond. Find a tune. Raymond, have you tried talking to her? Huh? Biodo. Talk to Biodo. He wouldn't let you talk. Biodo would not let you talk. And when she starts, where Biodo starts, it's like reading the terms and agreement of a product on the internet. You don't even know what it's talking about, but you just click yes anyway, so that would be peace. <laughs> oh yeah, that's the situation with Biodo. Are you serious? That's how it works with Biodo. Talk to her the men's way. How? Haven't you heard that? If you want your wife to listen, if you want your wife to listen to you, whenever you're talking, you need to talk in your dreams. Really? Come on, man. She will listen to you sharp, sharp. <laughs> see, see, see. On a serious note, Raymond, try and find a tune. You guys should sort yourself out anyway. Come on, one more. How else am I supposed to do that? I'm trying. Find a tune. Find that. I, I, I don't know. I, find man. Now. Find that, that, that place, that thing she wants. Find it. Okay, anyway, I um, I think this is all right, Mr. Bona. Thank you very much. Uh, I think it's okay. Just make sure you uh, work on the alert. I'll reactivate it as soon as I get to the office. Okay. Sorry for any mix-up. No, it's all right. It's all right. Is there anything else you'd like us to do for you? Uh, I can't really think of anything right now, but if something comes up, I'll let you know. And I um, hope you remember that that particular account is one that I run with my husband. Yes, ma'am. I'll ensure that his number is also activated. No, no, no. Sorry, please. I mean, no, don't bother. Uh, my husband doesn't really like the, the disturbances, text messages and all that. Just direct everything to me, just like this bank, bank statement. It's all right. You know, direct everything to me. It's going to be fine, yeah? Don't worry, I understand. We get that a lot. Beg your pardon? Anyway, that'll be all for now, Mr. Obona. Thanks so very much. Well, once again, we thank you for patronizing us. And I will personally ensure that you enjoy all our bank services. If that includes getting my money when I need it, then we're game. If you're free sometime, we could do lunch, if you don't mind. Really? Lunch, huh? I presume that's some of the bank services that you offer to married women, Mr. Obula. Well, I, uh, I am the head of marketing. And I can ensure or facilitate a good loan for you. Have a good day, Mr. Oh, uh, um, once again, thank you. What is wrong with you? 
Was she always embarrass me in public? Was she always half your way every time we ask you, especially in public? What is wrong with you? Yes, 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 and yes over again when it has to do with my son. I am his mother. I know what's best for him. Raymond, you're hardly home. So I'm in the best position to make a choice for my son. How does that even make sense when you say that you, a woman, knows what's best for a male child? Huh? Why did you just shut up? I'm talking. Why did you just not put your bad character in your handbag while I sought this boy out? I found a very beautiful blue sneaker for him. It would have just been perfect for him. Look at him. No, it You wanted something else? No, it wouldn't. I know what's best for Ramsey. I know that red is his favorite color, and I know that he preferred red sneakers. No, it's not, Mom. Ramsey. I thought you said red was your favorite color. Yes, but that doesn't mean I want the red sneakers. Uh-oh. Oh, well, just like I tell you all the time, but you would never listen. I didn't like the blue one either, Dad. Oh, you did not? Mom, Dad, I was trying to tell you guys that I wanted the yellow sneakers. It goes well with the blue jeans and a red sock. It would have been a perfect good book for me for the party. Now I didn't even get anything. Oh, no baby. Oh. Can you see what you've got? You made my baby angry. Did you have to do that? We don't miss you when you're little and when you're up on the place, go struggle. Go to sleep. Stop. What's going on? What does it look like? I'm... I'm going out. Out? To where? Out. As in? As in out? Out with friends? Out. So, what's going to happen to me? In what sense? I'm going to be home alone. Girl, it's a weekend. All right? It's a weekend. Think of something. Visit a friend. Call a friend up. Have fun. Take the kids out. It's a weekend. Raymond, I was meant to go out for a party with the kids. But I decided to stay back because of you. Well, I didn't tell you to sit back. You said you didn't feel like going out, Raymond. You said you didn't feel like going out, so I had to stay back. Oh, well, at the time, I didn't feel like going out, Beyond. But right now, I feel like going out. What? Is that a problem? <laughs> you must be a joker. What? You heard me, you must be a joker. You're not going anywhere if I'm not coming with you. Are you trying to stop me? Uh... Hey, uh, guys. Hi, baby. <laughs> What's up? Um, listen, I'm all set and waiting for you. Please don't be long. Love you, sugar. Yeah, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I, I, I know I'm running late, but I tell you what, uh, I'll be with you guys in a few, alright? Uh, I have to go. The boys are waiting for me. Really? Yes. Then I'm going to have to get my shoes because we're going together. No, we're not. What's wrong with you? Raymond, if I'm not going out with you, you're not going anywhere. Get it? Can you not stop with the drama right now? What are you talking about, Raymond? My birthday is just a few days away. And here I am, trying to set the mood with my husband and you just don't care. What is wrong oh, with you? Oh, just stop, all right? Look, I have an important out with friends. I have to go. Which of your friends? Raymond, tell me, which of your friends do you have an important outing with? So that I'm going to pick my phone right now and call the friend and tell the friend that I desire the company of my husband today. Which of your friends? I know you're upset. Okay, I know you're upset, but you have to forgive me, all right? Maybe I'll... Please. Calm down. Please, I beg you, just calm down. I'm sorry. All right? You know, I naturally wouldn't st stand you up if something wasn't stopping me, right? It was my wife. She was acting stupid again. I know you don't like to hear it, but that's the truth. 
I am sick and tired of hearing your wife, your wife, your wife. Must it always be her? Is she no, no, is she your boss or what? Look, Raymond, if you are not man enough to be my man, please use the door. Baby, please. Huh? You know, you and I have something really good going. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I'm, I'm sorry. Huh? Don't be like this. You, you know, I've been good to you. Huh? I mean, look around you and see the good things that I've done for you. Yes. I, what have you done for me? Tell me, what have you done? Oh, is it this tiny two-bedroom apartment you got for me? You call this a big deal? Well, it's, it's what you wanted, remember? Jesus, I even asked you for a car! Common car! You couldn't even get it for me. And you call it a big deal. Jesus, you're such a slacker. Please. Come on now, you don't have to be rude, huh? I know I hurt you, but you don't have to be rude, please. What was I, what was I expecting as usual? Uh, Look, I am tired of being your second best. You, you, so let me be. You can't be tired, all right? You can't. Look, Greta is ahead for you and I. You can't be tired. No, so, I don't no, even big, know what. Pick, 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 pick your call. I'm sure he's your wife, as usual. I'm sure she has a track on you. Please now. You don't have to be rude. Uh, switch it off or get out of my house. Get out. Just go. Go. Are you sure you really want me to go? Oh, you should. Just please. Are you sure you really want me to go? It's okay. We're good? Yeah. All right. So now that I've been forgiven, let's um, set the ball rolling, darling. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my God. Breakfast so in nice bed. Here. Wow. Looks good, right? Oh my God. Hmm? What time is it? Hey, sweetheart. It's me at your time, okay? Baby, I got school runs. And then I got school. I know you've got work. Yeah. Right? I have it all covered. Baby. Right. I have it all covered. Work, school runs, <sighs> all taken care of. Okay. Thank you, baby. It's your birthday. Oh. Come on now, go ahead. All right. Huh? Anything for my birthday, girl? Let's see if you <laughs> like it. Wow. Yeah. Just the way I like it. I'm glad you like oh, it. Yeah. Yeah. I want you to know that I do not take what we have for granted. I love you very much. It's all right, baby. I love you. I'm sorry about yesterday. It won't happen again. It's all right. Okay? It's okay, baby. Hmm? It's all right. Hey, Alex. Yes. <sighs> What's good? Uh, Dad has commissioned some external auditors to edit our account uh, since he's handing over after his 70th birthday. What? Are oh, you not aware? Why does Dad keep making those decisions without letting us know? It's his company. Uh, but, but you need to hurry up and sort out your loans. Yeah, I know. I know. Oh. Alex, I need help. Hmm? Can you help me? Ah, oh, Raymond. You know my family went to Disneyland for holidays. And I spent a lot. Oh, I don't think I'll be able to give you all the 3.7 million there. Okay, fine, but what can you help me with? Um... Let's say one million. Can you please make it two million? Please. Please. Um, Come to think of it. What did you even do with this one? Look, Alex, if you're going to help me, just help me. Uh, Can we uh, do away no, with the questions for no, now? No, no. If you're going to give me that attitude, I will hands off. Okay, can you Sorry. Better. I will uh, 
transfer the two million to your account. Uh, and, uh, thank you. I guess so. If you can sort it out before the end of the day, the better. One point seven million naira from our joint account. What did you do with this? But what are you talking about? Don't play dumb with me, Raymond. I got the alert this afternoon. And you were not picking my calls. 1.7 million naira that you took out from our joint account. What did you do with it? Well, hold on a second. What? You, you got an alert? Yes, I, w I went to the bank, okay? I... Yes! I got the alert, Raymond. Look, I think there's a problem here. And I would have to have to speak you know, to the hub of, of, of operations in that bank and find out with the customer care people what's going on. How come I'm not getting this alert? That is not the point, Raymond. That's not the point. Oh, what's the point? Biodo, the point is that you're beginning to freak me out with your sneaky and laggy attitude. That's the point. That account is a joint account that we run together for goodness sakes. Right? Of which I have the higher contribution, Raymond. So I have the right to know before you dip your hand into that account to take any money. You've been doing this for a long time and I've been keeping quiet. But 1.7 million naira at once? Husband, you better start explaining. What is even wrong with you? What is wrong with you? <laughs> eh? Why is it that when something little happens between us, all oh, you go hysterical? Why would I get hysterical? All oh, you go hysterical! Alright, you begin to dig up old calls, tell me about what happened in the past, and then you go like, hey, husband, newsflash, you ain't gonna get none tonight. That's what you do. I do not talk like that, oh, yes. Raymond. You talk like that and they will have to go back to rationing sex. But who does that in marriage? L listen to me. Before you give me a heart attack, I am going out there to solve this my problem of not having sex. Do you hear me? Yes, I can't be living a sexless life in marriage. I'm telling you. Huh? Oh, you are spoiling for a fight, right? Because you don't want to tell me what you've been up to with my money? No, I'm not. You're not making it easy for me. Biodo. I'm not sparring for it. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you our true situation. I have a hard day. I come back from work and then I walk into this house. And if you're in a very good mood, perfect. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And if you're not in a good mood, I'm supposed to sit down here and then whine with you and sulk. Raymond, sex is not food. And I do not enjoy it like that, especially because you make it hard for me. I try everything, everything that I try. You make it so very impossible for me. So what do you want me to do? Why did the conversation even turn to sex? We were talking about the money you stole, sorry, took from our joint account, my sweat. Yeah. I need to know what you did with my money. I did not get an alert. You are just been paranoid. Maybe you've gone bipolar. Deal with your issues. It's been a very busy day for me. Good Don't night. tell me that. Raymond, come back here. Raymond, come back here. Ah, what's the problem? Huh? What is it? What's the, is it? Isn't it just a phone? What business do you have with my phone? Raymond, I am your wife and I can pick your calls at any time. Biotu, a phone is a private effect. Do you hear me? A private effect. You do not take my calls unless I ask you to. Becky, whatever. That's not that you're so sneaky about a phone. I hope you're not doing something stupid. Huh? You hope I'm not doing... But it's something like what? I don't know. You tell me. Something like cheating. Raymond. Ray! Raymond! Okay, I know what to do. Just make sure I don't catch you up. Make sure you're not caught cheating or else. <clears throat> hey, you're back early. That's strange. I thought you said you were staying out with friends. 
I didn't feel like it. What's this negative vibe? I think I'm not for this to make sense. Hope you enjoyed your birthday, Dad. Yes, I did. So thanks, you. Oh, I so got good. something for you, Dad. Thank you so much. Let me see. You remember the birthday? <laughs> Let's see. Ah. Happy birthday, Daddy. You're the bestest daddy ever. And I love you. Aww. Ramsey. <laughs> You're the best son in the world. Thank you so much. And Daddy loves you so much. Thank you for remembering my birthday. Okay. Baby, I'm so, so, so sorry. I could cut a bit. Ramsey, now that Daddy is back, can you go to bed now? Alright, Daddy. Go and sleep and rest. Hmm? Have a wonderful mm. night, rest, yeah? Love you, baby. Sweet dreams. Mm. Mm. What sorry. good wife God, forgets her husband's birthday. Sweetie, I'm so sorry. I am so very sorry. I didn't mean to. There's no room for excuse. Good. You said it yourself. No room for excuses. You said it. Oh, come on, Mom. Stop being very funny. What is it? I forgot your birthday. And I said, I'm sorry. What else do you want me to do? You want me to turn back time? Oh, I beg you. You all dressed for work already? Yeah, aren't you working today? Um No, I am not. Beard, I was actually expecting that you would, you know, surprise me with breakfast in bed. <laughs> like seriously? Breakfast in bed? Raymond, get serious. But what is wrong with you? Huh? You don't even care about my feelings. <sighs> Raymond, what is it now? What is it about this morning? Did you have a bad dream about me overnight? No, I did not, but I'm beginning to have a bad feeling about you. Hold a sec. Am I forgetting something? Yes! You forgot something! Yesterday was my birthday, Biondu! Yesterday was my birthday! Hey! This is still about the birthday. Raymond, you're getting all so mushy about a birthday. Come on, get serious, my friend. It's okay for me to do this, not you. You're a man. Ugh. Why are you being this cruel to me? Hmm? Is there something wrong in a man wanting to have a quiet time with his wife? Happy. Hey, hey, Raymond. Life should be re. When you are not a woman, you're getting all so emotional about a birthday. Birthday! Common birthday! Ha! Sweetheart, get serious. I have a very important meeting to attend to. Yes? So I'm gonna hit the road now. Hmm? Take care. See, there was more than you sitting here, I'll give me back time. And guess who? Well, I 
Ojo. Thank you, Mommy. Mommy, how far now? My friend will teach you Oh, good dear, it's a fair dream. Ah, Mommy, please be fast. I need to go and pick the kids from their friend's house. It's getting late. <laughs> oh. It will be ready right soon. Ah, she's so rude. Eh, that reminds me. How far with your search for house up? Oh, Mommy, nothing yet, Jerry. Ah, it's my girl. Hey, and we just have to take things easy, eh? It's really taking a toll on you. Wobo Sheda, you look worn out. Ah, Jororao. Ah, Wobo 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 How can I take things easy? When I have two hyper kids on my hands, I've got work to do, I've got house chores, and then I have a husband that just doesn't care. How am I supposed to take things easy? But I thought to say the friend linked you with an agency. That agency is a ripoff, Mom. You need to see the conditions they were giving me just to recruit a house girl. Just to recruit a house girl? Mm -hmm. Mom, they said I have to make sure I put the house girl in a fully air-conditioned room. They said I have to make sure that she eats three square meals with myself and my family on the same dining table. Then they said I must pay half a million naira for a six-month contract and ensure that I take very good care of the girl. If she's okay with the way I treat her, then we will, well, we might review the contract. Can you imagine that? Ah, 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 you know that? That's a bit on the high side. Ah, Abba, we have to call you. Um, anyway, by the grace of God, I am sure Laura will be home from school next week. Maybe she oh. come and help us in the meantime. Thank God, Mom. That's gonna be a very big relief. You don't understand. Oh. <laughs> in fact, I'll come and pick her myself. Just tell me when she's landing. <laughs> oh, Mom, you don't understand what I'm going through. Oh, I can Lord. understand. But Mom, please, you have to warn Laura to behave herself this time around. What's the problem? Kuniwali, Mom. No, 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 You must be mad. Did you say something? I said... You must be mad to be sitting down there with your legs stretched out, flipping through channels when I nearly got birth in the kitchen making milk for you and your children, Raymond. What is it? Can't you just be useful for what? Your mate, your 
You know, I don't know, understand what your problem is. I don't get it. But am I supposed to pay the bills around the house? Provide, put a roof over our head and still do, do, do the chores for you? Huh? Oh, Raymond, these are our children. These are our children. Do something. Get busy. Make yourself useful. I am useful. I pay the bills around this house, all right? I pay for everything here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, I, I do. I've forgotten that I work too. I work and I still have to come back home to this stress while you do nothing. You don't work for me. You don't work for anybody because I'm the one who pays the bills. I'm the one who puts food on the table. I'm the one who <laughs> takes care of our cars. I'm the one who takes care of medicals. Everything. I didn't even ask you to start working in the first place. I don't know why you decided to work. Seriously? Every, yes, everything that you do with your so money. So why do you save my, my money? I, I why do I always have to bail you out one loan or the other? Me. Why do we have to a current account, a savings account, a joint account that's always cleared out the minute I found it? Why do I always have to... Ah! Can't you see I'm playing a game here? Hey, 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 Ramsey, will you shut up? Daddy and Mumi are talking. That's no way to talk to your parents. You hear me? That's you. Now say you're sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to you too, Mom. It's just that you two do this all the time and it's not from Shut up! Hey, shut, shut up! <sighs> We're adults. Adults communicate in different ways. Do you hear me? Right now. I have told you. We're not going to have this conversation. I've told you countless times. The way you talk. What's going on here now? Why is this place messed up? I was powering up to make lunch. And then the boat comes crashing down. And what can Mr. Husband say? Can I carry your legs? This is not in me! This is not in any way my fault. You have been stop being dramatic about What? Okay, why are you crying now? What, you expect me to clean up? It's not possible. I can't clean after you. No, I can't. Well, look, let me tell you, in everything you do in life, you choose your struggle. You cannot eat your cake and have it. You should have thought this whole thing through before you fire the house hell. Oh, please, Raymond, don't even go there. Please. What is it? I shouldn't go there. Raymond, please, if you can at least help in the kitchen, help with the children. But I'm trying. No, you're not. I am trying. No, you're not, Raymond. You know, you were actually the one asking for more children. Imagine how that would have been when you got even help with the two that we have. Are you trying to make this about me now? Whether you love children as much as I do, what that you want to flip this on me because you're trying to multitask and it didn't go your way and then boom, we have this situation. Madam, you love kids as much as I do. Don't put this on me. You don't get the point. The point is, I need you to help me once in a while. Instead of you just sitting around lounging around like an imbecile while I slip my head off on you and your children, Raymond! <laughs> Abiyo, did you just call me an imbecile? You just want to run the house. Just be there for me and the kids. I can't do this alone. <laughs> I'll show you what it feels like to be an imbecile. Raymond! Go away like you always do! Oh, hello, Miriam. Hello? Yeah, can I hear you? Where are you now? I've been waiting for you since. You're not coming again. Ah, oh, why now? Anyway, were you able to reach him? Oh, Miriam, I didn't do anything. What did he say? What did he say? He's not been picking my calls. Miriam, he's been gone for four days. Are you sure? He said he'd come back home today. Oh. Okay, I better start going then. Uh, thank you, Miriam. Thank you. Bye. Ah, Raymond. How is she? Uh, Biodu is fine, Dad. He's alright. Mm. 
Tell me something, Raymond. How much do you love Beardo? I still love my wife, and I, I remember you asked me this question uh, a couple of years back when I wanted to marry her, and I told you that the reason I wanted her out of the lot then was because uh, my feelings for her was deeply rooted, and it's still deeply rooted. So, uh, yes, we have our highs and lows, but I love, I love you. That's good to know. However, there are few things I must let you know. Um, marriage is not a bed of roses. Well, many times we look out for that word, um, perfect. But there is nothing like that when it comes to marriage. We walk towards perfection. It's a never ending circle. However, faithfulness, dedication, loving her unconditionally. That's true. That's true. I have always lost her. I know the sort of race. And you will not disappoint me. I think I've made a mistake of my life. What have I done? Dad. Oh, yeah. Oh, sweet and fresh, just the way you like it. Thanks, Mama. You're welcome. <sighs> <laughs> so, what did they say? <sighs> More? Oh, give me half an hour. I really needed that. Oh. So, what did he say? He hasn't really said anything, Mom. You know, Ramon can be a big baby sometimes. In fact, most of the times. I mean, he left the house for four days, and then he came back, and then he goes around acting like an undertaker in the house. Who does that? Beardo, I've never known you to give up on anything. So don't start now. Mom, Raymond is not making it easy for me. What do I do? Mosha then you para me. Mosuru Lumashi, eh? Biatu. Shuri Okuta Tumwe. But wuki okuta kuja koto. Tum bafi o polo kwa suru to bafi ti ukuta y nedi. Oh my chino. Suru to de ri ya kuki po ju afiti u bani to. Suru. Eh. Suru. Suru. Mommy, did you just say suru? Mm -hmm. Eh? That should be patient with Raymond. But what's the most she lasts a George I kill that for me? Eh? So excuse me, please. Hello? 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 Uh, who is it? I don't know who it is, Mom. Anyway, Mom. Mine is that I don't care anymore. You know, in a couple of days from now, my house is going to be ready. I am very successful. So if Ramon tries to be funny, I'm just going to find my way, you know. His mom never liked me anyway, so... Have you told him about the house? Hmm. I don't have to. You have to. You don't keep things like that away from your husband. If he finds out about the house, he might not forgive you. Uh -uh. What's the big deal? Nobody me will buy him. 
Ma soro be o ko mi. Wo ti re wa ton wu, e ton se igo o buru ju ko le yan pa yan lo. Eh. Mom you don't understand. Anyway. Raymond or no Raymond mom, you have to get ready for my housewarming. Does he beat you? Of course not. But what he does is worse than beating me, Mom. I mean, he... Remo Daddy. So far, he doesn't abuse you physically or emotionally. Then you should be able to manage the situation, Beodo. But how? Mom, please tell me, how do I manage a man like Raymond? How? He is... In don't complain about your husband, Beodo. A wise woman keeps a home. If you failed in your marriage, you have failed in life. No, 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 Mom. I'm not going to take that. That isn't the past. Times have changed. Gone are the days when a woman's success is tied to a marital status. Not anymore. I am successful in every way you want to look at it, Mom. So please, that doesn't work. You are letting it get into your head, Biodu. As a, as a businesswoman, you should be tough enough to make a informed decision. But as a married woman, you should be able to embrace your husband. <laughs> embrace? With a man like Raymond, what would that add to me? See, Mom, at least you should be grateful to God that I didn't end up a poor, miserable middle like you. <laughs> See what you feel ah! Just hold it there. Hold it, hold it. Did I hear you right? I mean, what did you just say now? Did you just call me a miserable widow? How dare you! Mom, what I said was, see what that put us through. Oh, and because yes, of this... you. Okay. No, 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 it's okay. I can understand Mom, you see. perfectly well. Biadu, just get up from that chair you're sitting on and leave my house. No, this Mom. How's I get out of my house? I'm sorry. I didn't mean it that way. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Biadu. I'm going to ask you this sincerely, and I want a truthful answer from you. Do you really think your marriage is worth saving? Baby. What? <sighs> Baby. I, I want to have you all to myself. I'm tired of sharing you, baby. You may bear. Uh, that asks for too much so you don't lose all. Huh? You have me here. What else do you want? How much do I mean to you? You mean a lot to me. You mean so much to me. You know how much you mean to me. Um, no, I don't. So tell me. Because all I know is you treat me like you. Yeah. Uh, can we just live in the moment and enjoy ourselves and not spend this time having an unproductive chat? Please. Oh, you're using me to feel your emptiness on products. Your wife throws you out of the house, fall back on me, saps me emotionally, then go back to that same woman without giving a thought to my emotion. You call it unproductive chats. Mega, what do you want? Your commitment. What, what other commitment? I am committed to you. I, I, I spend most of my... Look, you have practically chased off all my girlfriends. Every one of them. I heard what you did to Rose. Oh, please. Please. Just because you have the money to throw around doesn't mean 
You should use this thing. Uh, listen. On, on, on every dumb you can hurry. I am committed to you, all right? I spend more time with you than every other woman, even my wife. Look at me right now. I'm here with you. Huh? Baby. What? You look is making me go so crazy. Can't you see? I can see. And you that's why I'm asking. You're the only man that has made me feel this way. Can you please just focus so we can have this moment and take each day as it comes? Okay? to understand me. All I ask is just a hug sometimes. Just a little attention sometimes. Just some intimacy. But he's never there. He goes and comes and makes me feel like a robot. If I have to put up with his excesses any further, if I have to take this any further, hmm. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm just gonna try and take it one day at a time. The truth remains that I love you, Raymond. I wish you'd be more loving. He will regret the day he decided to cheat on me. Oh. 
Great. Did you see my email? No, I didn't. I didn't see it. What did you send it? I sent it. There's been some irregularities uh, discovered in our account. What? Hold on a sec. My goodness. That's why I called your attention to it. The people don't match up. How did this get past me? Ensure you monitor the activities of the chief accountant from now, please. Okay, no, I'm, I'm on it. Okay. How's your wife, by the way? Um, your is fine. Oh, good, good. Yours? Well, oh, she's fantastic. Um, how's the preparation for that birthday? It's just a week away. Ah. <laughs> Will you believe me if I tell you I haven't even given you a thought? <laughs> I haven't thought about it. Oh, God. Uh, well, anyway, they're expecting us back home on Thursday. Uh, I even spoke with Susan. I think she's planning to surprise us. Yes. Really? She's planning to surprise us. Susan is coming in from the US. <laughs> yes. There's going to be a lot of mm, talk, talk, talk. I guess, woman, huh? Uh, but anyway, we'll survive. Um, of course, we will. Let's do lunch. Good, but let me, you know, let yes, me get on with what we go through this. I will let you know when I'm ready to go for lunch. Mm -hmm. Alright. Catch you later. Okay, well. What? Who could that be by this time? Laura? Mm -hmm. Come on, get the dog, please. Alright. Uncle, yeah. there's someone here that wants to see you. She says she's your cousin. My cousin. How come Cletus did not. No, I just, just let her in. Okay. Please come in. Thank you. <laughs> Look at you! Oh my gosh, she's so adorable. Come, 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 give your auntie a hug. Come. Mm. Hello, auntie. Hello. Do you know you look so beautiful more than the picture? Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. So good to have you here. Yeah, so good to see you too. Yeah. yeah uh, um, uh, anyways, Susan. <clears throat> I'm Piotr. Cousin. <laughs> I'm his wife. Oh, no. <laughs> It's so good to have you. Please stop and take a seat. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, you must be tired from a very long journey. Yeah, yeah. Wow, you're welcome. <laughs> you know, I just had to surprise my darling cousin. Yeah. Okay, but he didn't tell me you were coming. Can you believe that? Yeah. <laughs> good. <laughs> I mean, it's really late. <laughs> Shocked uh, to see oh, you. Oh, How was your trip? Good to see you too, my darling. You anything, see you. <laughs> How is everybody back home? It's fine. Aww. When is doing that? sending me messages and I have replied every message that you have sent to me. Yesterday you called me, you told me that you were, you were broke. I sent you money, I credited your account. What are you doing Raymond, here? it is not your money. Shut up, stop shouting. Baby, all I want is you, you, just, just, just you. Do you know the gravity of what you have done by showing up in this house and pretending to be my cousin Susan? What has gotten into you? Raymond, I needed to see you. Desperate times, the suit requires desperate measures. And I also hope that you have not unpacked your bag because you're living here first thing but tomorrow. No, I, I, I can't. I, 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 I still want you. I, baby. If you have any kind of respect for me, leave me and my family alone. Shh. Get out. Shh. Just, just Bell. come. Come, come here, just one hour. Can't cannot. you say I'm done? Baby. You cannot do this I, right I, I, now. Aren't you missing? You just come here. Come here, baby. Come here. Mm -hmm. Hey. <laughs> babe. Where are you coming from? 
Sorry. Huh? Yeah, I need to choose myself. Where are you coming from, Ray? Um, <laughs> I had to... <laughs> The doors, you know, so, some of the keys are beginning to act funny, so I had to ensure that the doors are properly locked. The doors? Uh, yes, uh, the doors, I had to check. Anyway, wait, 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 I need to use my towel. Oh, okay, please. Just help me. That lady is such a do Oh my god! That's my favorite color here. Come here. Hi, baby. What's up? I'm, 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 I'm okay. What's going on? See, Sandra was just telling me some of your family traditions. Oh my god. Some traditions you got. <laughs> What tradition? Oh, like what you already know. Like a granddad being a polygamist and his dad before him, you know now. <laughs> you know, imagine if I have to pick a number. No. What number would that be? <laughs> um, but you know what? It wouldn't be such a bad idea if someone like me is the number two. You know, since we have such a great chemistry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no, that's better imagine. <laughs> Why don't you just um just go in and freshen up while we get this ready? Oh no, no, that, that's not a problem. I mean, I could, I could help out here in the kitchen. I'm, all, I'm already here, right? Sure. You want to help out in the kitchen? Sandra, Raymond wants to help us in the kitchen. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> it is my turn to be surprised. I can't believe this. <laughs> Raymond, wow. Uh -huh. He is seriously trying to impress you. Oh my God. I, 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 am I? <laughs> you, okay, you know what, ladies? I'll just be with the kids, uh -huh. all right? Uh, no, no, I'll just I'll be with the kids. Okay. 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 Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> all right, okay. Oh my god, I can't believe this. Ah. It took you to come here to stop and break the ice between us. Oh. <laughs> you welcome back. Oh. Oh, what do you mean by that? <gasps> my husband has been going around the house numb for the past couple of days just because we had a little quarrel. Oh, but you know what? Next time he does it, give him a breather. It works. <laughs> a breather? What is that? Like, Go on a vacation, you know, just leave yeah. home, go somewhere very far, just anywhere, just that go. is what Raymond will do. Can you imagine, can you believe that this last quarrel we had, he was away from the house for good four days <gasps> in communicado. You, you know what, next time he tries that, don't let him be the one to leave that alone. You right? be the one to leave that alone. You really? know, he will miss you. Really? Mm -hmm. Wow. You know what? Now that you've mentioned it, I sort of see the sense in that. Oh, yeah? But I think I have a better idea. Oh, no. <laughs> So, why were you not picking her calls? What did you say? Your cousin. Why were you not picking her calls? I don't I heard everything last night. So why were you not picking her calls? What did you say? I just said I heard everything you said last night. Shh, shh, shh. <laughs> Uncle Raymond, hmm? are you sure you're alright? 
because he was really not eating his food and I... Uh, uh, you know, I, I know what's wrong with him. I guess he's super excited to have me around. You know what? When we were actually very young, Raymond wouldn't eat except I feed him. <laughs> You're very funny. How can you feed a grown man like this? A grown man? Oh, you think I'm joking? Okay, watch me. Come, baby. Open up. Stop it. Raymond, don't be shy. Come on, Uncle Raymond. She's your cousin. Uh -huh. <laughs> I have. I dash you. Okay, 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 okay. Please. Raymond, my hand is handy. Susan, please, please. Don't embarrass me. I'll turn to the kid. Yeah, fine. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? I was actually thinking that maybe we could um, take a vacation. A vacation? Yeah. What for? You know, uh, sort of makeup. You know, just the two of us, you know, away from home, from work, from stress. Bjorn, my father's party is next week. We can do all of that when we get there. No, baby. Just the two of us. Just to make up for everything. Does it to all of us? Yeah. You see? Baby. Baby. Truly sorry for everything. perfect myself. So I want you to know that I am also very sorry for everything. Okay. It's fine. Have everything in there, right? Yeah, I do. I right. just want to put this one up there. Yeah. 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 Sweetheart. Mm -hmm. You know, it's been a while we... We shared a moment like this. Mm -hmm. I want you to know that I... I have missed you so much. And I will do anything within my power to recapture those moments. Uh. Sweetheart, you are my woman. Okay? I want you to know that no matter what happens, alright? No matter what happens, you will always be my woman. What? Since you're forgetting something. Huh? What are you talking about? You need to go freshen up, baby. Ah, really? Ah, 
Okay, you know I have an I have an idea. How about um, you know, come on, the bath you know, I take this off while you take this off. I rub your back really hard. Oh, and nice. No, 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 no. You know, I have that. Job. I need enough time to arrange this for you to take care. I'm just saying that I, I bought that gel. You so you about. are gonna go and <laughs> the bathroom now. Come on. I I usually come. <laughs> okay, you can. Are, are you sure you're not coming? Sure, sure, sure. Thank you. Good freshen up. Are you sure you're not? Yay! I need you out of this room. I need to freshen <laughs> All right. Oh, you drifted off. I've been standing here calling your name for almost 30 seconds. What are you thinking? Thinking what? I'm ready. Uh, I need to open someone. Uh, no. No, 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 no. Okay, you just have to stop get sick. Just relax out of the back and then just sit together. You said it, huh? Okay. Okay. He told me everything. Look, I know it might be very difficult for you to forgive him now. But all I'm asking is that you do not take any decision right now. You know you guys are the ones hosting daddy this weekend. I'm sorry. I don't think I want to go back. The kids are there. They'll be fine. My dad used to say something. There are things in life that one must not compromise. And that is one's family's joy. And what happens to my joy? Answer me, what happens to my joy? Piotr, listen to me. We light up our lives when we light up the lives of other people. Miriam, you don't understand what your brother did. You don't understand. I couldn't even tell my mom. I couldn't believe that Raymond would do that to me. Piotr, listen, I am... I am so sorry. But please, you have to do this for my dad. Piotr, if, if daddy means anything to you, you will do this for him. Please. I could fall in love with you Over and over again no matter who you are, or where you're from, or what you do, I can fall Mommy, uh, I'm sorry. I'm going to eat first, okay? Let us eat something. I'm hungry. I'm hungry, but I want to see my mommy. Ramsey, look, I want to go and eat. Are you coming or you're not coming? Eh? Let's I'll eat. I'm going to see my To be in your arms right now. I promise you. I'll take it. My baby. No, I wouldn't let go. Oh, my angel, have you been? Oh, I'll give my voice to the <laughs> Oh, I've missed you. How are you doing? Around for everyone oh, to hear what you mean to me. Oh, 
Bjorn. Thank you so much, Uncle. Thank you for thinking. Thinking it right to, to come around. I appreciate it. I'm sure you know where I came. Yeah. Alright, come on, baby. Let's just go. Get my bag and let's go in mommy's bag. <laughs> Wale, so this was what changed you from school, huh? No problem. Since you have chosen that path, so be it. But hear me good, young man. Hear me good. You will marry her. It's a must for you to marry her. Because I won't allow her to have that child outside the block. Whatever you like you do, it's not my business. Teminipe or And listen, young girl. Look, you don't have any problem. I am his mother. Immediately you leave this place, go to your house, tell your parents that I asked you to move in with us, pack your things and come back to stay here. Do you hear me? I am not ready oh, to my... marry. I'm not marrying her. Wale, there is God. Who... This was not how we started. Have you forgotten what you promised me? As in, what is wrong with you? What, what promise did I make? Can't you use your head? Oh, 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 oh. You want to turn yourself to Mario because I told you my father owns a big company, Abby? See, see, let me tell you. My father is dead. My mom is a petty trader. There's no money anywhere. Oh, Ali has destroyed my life. How am I going to feed myself and the baby? Oh, Ali has destroyed my life. How am I going to... You destroyed my life. You made me run away from school. How, how did you even get here? You must be a witch. Oh, dead. I don't even know. Is it by force to marry? Is it by force? I, I don't want to marry. I don't want to marry. It's not by force now. What is it? It's a mistake. It is a mistake, and mistakes are allowed. Leave me alone. Ah! Yes, Daddy. <laughs> How are Daddy. you? I'm fine. Raymond, Dad. How are you? Ah, we're fine. In a few days, my seventh yet. That day will, will hold. And I want to celebrate with my family. Everybody well represented. What is this feeling I'm getting about you and them, Biodo? I mean, I don't seem to get the same thing from Alice and his wife. But every time, Raymond, 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 and Pietro, what's going on? But Dad, I don't know what feelers you're getting, but my wife and I are fine. Aren't we, darling? We're, we're, doing, we're doing very well. Oh, really? But your eyes speak volume. I raised you up very well, so the fault cannot be coming up from you. We're oh, fine, Daddy. Trust me. We're not fine. Mm -hmm. Talk to Daddy. Don't, don't, don't talk me, Ramon. We are not fine. Mm. We can't do this here. Don't be out of me. I can't continue living my life. Talk to me. Don't tell me what I can do or what I can't do if you cannot tell your father that you have been having an extramarital Keep affair. Your voice what? Don't be out of me if you cannot tell your father that you've put another woman in the family way, Raymond. Raymond? What am I hearing? You heard me. 
Uncle and then your father will sit here and tell me whatever problems you were having definitely won't be from you. What does that mean? Your son has been having extramarital affairs. And he had the guts to bring his girlfriend into this house, into my matrimonial home. I can't take it anymore. I've had it too here. All right! <laughs> Fine! Fine! Let's, let's lose. Let's, let's talk. All right? Let's open a can of worms. Fine. That, do you know that this idiot here, this girl is building a house. Should I say her school already completed the house? In her name, a married woman. She got funding from wherever, built a house in her name. And do you also know that, that I have information from a reliable source that she intends for us to move out of this house and move into her house while I still pay the rent? So now tell me who's the monster? What is the big deal in that I am your wife? I can build a house. What belongs to me belongs to you. That was just a And you didn't think that it was your wife for you to run it by me first. Why should I run it by you? Because you're bearing my name. You are my wife. Show some respect for those you. I can't live this life anymore. I'm getting a divorce. I will not sit here and hear all this rubbish. Raymond, I will not step my foot here anymore. Rubbish is fix. Fix your home. Fix your home, Raymond. Out of here. <laughs> Divorce? Is that what it has come to? Hey, oh no, I let that be my shadow me. What's happening to me? Eh? Kilo shenes me, kilo shenes and your mommy. Just yesterday, I discovered that Wale ran away from school because he put someone in the family way. What? Now you divorced. What's happening? See, see, mom, it's better we part ways because I can't take it anymore. Raymond has pushed me to this point. I can't take it anymore. Wait, wait, what you said about Wale, is it true? We'll come to that. Let's treat you as first. Biodu, have you thought of your children? See, mom, I won't stop him from visiting. Uh, mom, mom, please, please, don't try to convince me because I know that's what you want to do. My mind is made up. I can't cope any longer. Raymond is not worth the stress and I would rather remain single than be stuck in that marriage, mom. I would rather remain single. <sighs> huh? that love is a wonderful thing. It can bring new meaning to your life and make you happy in ways that you never thought possible. I've also learned that being in love with someone is not the same thing as someone loving you. They are totally different things. It, most times we just view relationship, love, marriage, just the way we personally want it to be. But that's not the way people see these things. Right? Oh boy. This love thing is becoming a burden to me. I tell you. Because I'm just not getting enough. Alright? <laughs> I'm not getting enough. The question you should ask, Ray, is are you in love with that woman? Of course I am. What do you think? I love my wife. Maybe I just do not understand the true concept of love. Maybe it's me. Why? Because everything that I do, everything that I have brought to this marriage, is that enough for Biodu? Is that enough? So I'm beginning to think maybe there is something I'm not doing right. 
I feel isolated most of the time. I mean, I feel like something is not right in my marriage, yet I can't figure it out. Miriam, it's as if Raymond doesn't love me enough. You know that sort of deep love that we watch in movies and then we read in novels that just light up your life you know, and your mood? I don't feel it. If you do love ideas based on fiction, we'll always clash with real life. You know what our impressions about love are formed from our upbringings. But Miriam, I tried to make this work. I just couldn't do it. <sighs> that is because you haven't found your MMM. MMM? Yes. What is that? It is your magical marital moment. Pedro, it is the moment when you realize that you're truly, finally in love with your husband. I love Raymond. I know that I love him. When I first met my husband, my mom was not in support of us because of our social differences, just like in your case. My dad, he was so supportive. Yes. He helped us, he helped my husband become what he is today. But it was not until my husband became a senator that I actually saw his true color. My husband was a hard nut to crack. He insulted, he abused, he ridiculed me. Yes, but I took all of it. The only thing I kept telling him was that I love him and I respect him. I am telling you, Biodun, that was the turning point in my marriage. Yeah, Miriam. Looking at you right now, nobody will ever believe you went through anything. Biodun, all things are difficult before they are easy. Love is not about possession. Love is about appreciation. Every woman goes through something in marriage. The first rule for a woman to secure her marriage is to first conquer pride. Miriam, our marriage is different from yours. This marriage was headed for the rocks from day one. Peter, why don't you, why don't you try seeing a counselor? That would be necessary. My mind is made up. I'm getting divorced. Are you a loser?
Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Welcome to Pacific Family Life. Uh, please have a seat. Hmm? Yes, sir. Oh, see, yeah. Thank you. Please have a seat. Thank you. You're welcome. <sighs> Hey baby, mm -hmm. that sort of looks familiar. What? Very nice painting, that one. Just like the one at your office, isn't it? I don't have a painting in my office. I mean, I'm not into art like that. I'm not into art. We have a lady. If I slap your face off that girl's cleavage, you'll remember. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, Sarah, can we get on to the day's business? It's sort of roasting in here. Roasting? <laughs> it's freezing. The AC is on its highest. Even I am freezing. <laughs> really? You must be freezing. You're almost naked. Uh, how may I help you, please? Obviously, we're here for the family uh, marriage counseling program you do. Or do you have other businesses? Actually, we do. We run a wide range of services from therapy, lifestyle management, communication improvement, etiquette lessons. Oh, please, just spare me before you tell me you do sex training here. Well, actually, we do. It's at the top of the list for our clients. You would love um, it. Well, uh, uh, hello. Yes. Uh, we, um, you know, we have a scheduled appointment to see um, okay. the counselor. Oh, okay. Uh, what's your name? Oh, uh, we are debutants. My name is Raymond. I'm Raymond. Yeah. All right. Let me just check real quick. Oh, unfortunately, your schedule has been cancelled. We schedule for tomorrow, same time though. Are you serious? Yeah. What What happened? I don't know. But I mean, let me give. I you think we'll just go to film. Look, madam, calm down, okay? I'm sure your problem, husband is probably just stuck in traffic or something. He should have called! Maybe he's not even interested in this whole thing. You know, maybe I should... Calm down. I'm sure he has his reasons. You know what, let me get you a drink, okay? So you can calm down. I told you the drink! Sorry! Show us to the counselor's office. There's one first door you left. Mr. and Mrs. Adegi, tell you're welcome. Thank you very much, madam. I'll be the counselor in charge of the program. The second half of the first half of it. First half? Yes, our marriage program is a six months program. Six months? Yeah. No, I can't do this. I have better things to do with my time. Then I'm sorry, the Pacific uh, Family Life Center isn't for you. Perhaps you could try some other places. Uh, madam, it, it's fine. Um, we will have it here, all right? Um, the PFL Center is just fine. You guys come highly recommended, so it's okay. Okay, let's get started then. You can call me Professor Babatunde. Professor? Yes, I'm a professor of psychology and I'm happily married with kids. Our goal here is to help save your marriage. Wow, your young life must have been so congested, madam. Don't be deceived by what you say. I have lived the best of lives. I am not as young as I look, and I've been married for almost 25 years. I'm 53. Wow! So tell me a bit about both of you. And each other. Mm. My husband? 
He's a control freak. He's controlled by two things. That thing and his paycheck. And but I do not have to remind you, Biodo, to blow my paycheck. Do I? Oh yeah, see? <laughs> We've not even started. And we're ready here. Madam, we have a trailer load of problems. Do you think we stand a chance? There is no hopeless situation, only hopeless people. If both of you are willing to talk about it. Hi, Professor. My wife here is bossy and insecure. She wants a control switch in the marriage. She wants to be in control. She wants to call the shots. What? What if I tell you that you depress me? Why are you getting tortured? We're here for something. Why are you getting touched? Why are you taking things personal? Relax and have an open mind. Then please don't say anything that will depress me in the course of this session, okay? Great. Depression does not have to be part of your life. Professor, you don't understand. His middle name is Stress. Stress is common, my dear. You just have to learn to deal with it. Professor, you don't understand. This man freaks me out like Seriously freaks me out. And I'm very sure you make up in bed afterwards. Hello? Must you have an answer for everything? Mm -hmm. I'm not coming back here again. Why is that? That professor is fake. Why would you say that? She's trying to make me look bad in front of you. And I refuse to be intimidated by a service I'm paying for. Uh, a service that I am paying for. Don't get it twisted. Whatever. I can't subject the next six months of my life to, to this. No. I won't come back. Unless we change the counsellor. A <laughs> <laughs> new counsellor prefer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What is your problem? Huh? Why are you bugging me with phone calls? Why are you trying to call down my phone? What is it? What, you're trying to end my marriage? But, but baby, please, I, I, I said I'm sorry, please. Stop calling me. Do you hear me? Stop calling me. I'm trying to fix my marriage. Stop calling me. My, my, my love. Well, I made out this check hoping that you will appreciate it and take it. I'm also hoping that it, it could serve right now help you fix your immediate problems look Mabel, i know how this looks but the times that you and i shared together was really really good it cannot last forever i'm a married man move on start all over make something out of your life no no, right? no no my love you cannot do this to me raymond please remember the times we shared together please Ray raymond please you cannot do this to me you cannot do this baby please baby please you cannot do this. Baby, baby. Please, 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 and me alone. Trust me, I will get my man back at all costs. Trust me. I'm Dr. Babatunde. You can call me Dr. Babs. Okay. I've gone through your files and I'm sure we're going to have wonderful sections together. Hmm. So, do you think we stand a chance, Doctor? Oh, why not? Provided you guys are ready to give it a try. See, Doctor. The problem is that my husband is selfish. Honestly, I don't know when he became what it is, what he is today. This was not how he started. All of a sudden, doctor, like all of a sudden, he turned to something else entirely. I say, oh, I can't even explain it. Well, every man's need changes erratically. Oh. And once a woman identifies her man's weaknesses, she can capitalize on that and toss him around as she wishes. Very man, so I don't understand why you're talking like this. How about a woman who is responsible, stupid, lazy, and possessive? What? How about that? 
saying? What are you saying? You are such a liar. You're nothing but an egoistic man. What is wrong with you? I'm go I'm you take going everything so seriously. What, I'm egoistic? What is it going to take you to learn that it's the 21st century and everything? No, is like, no it more is a man's no, world. It's no longer. What, really? Yes. Oh, really? Women do things. Yeah, you women take my father's death. Women do things and they do things that men can And that is why do. you people hit monopause these days before you get married. Oh, seriously? Yeah, because you people have turned out well, to This is all she needs, at least twice every day, especially when she begins to rage. Can you do that? Really? Oh, well, I don't know what that's for, but look, I'm a working man. All right, I'm a working man. I pick all the bills in the house. I have a very busy schedule. I do not have the time of the day to come back home and begin to pick a woman. Uh, Why are you I, I so, so, so dumb? What he's trying to say is that you need to hug me some more. Simple. Did you just call me dumb? Like, seriously? You know, I didn't mean to call have you dumb. Have y'all do? I didn't mean to. Did you just like call me dumb? dumb? No. You're very stupid yourself. and uncool. Don't call I'm me dumb. I'm telling names. you. Please Go, stop. Your parents did not call me. you. I, I wonder what your parents. I he said he's opting out. But what reason did he give? I don't know. He said he doesn't like the man. He said he's not practical mm -hmm. enough. He said... Thank you. Welcome. Thank you very much. <laughs> he said he had all sort of nonsense to say. See, Miriam, you know how Raymond can be sometimes. You know. So, what did you plan on doing? What else? I'll opt out as well. I mean, there's no point trying to salvage a marriage that the other party is not willing to keep. No, opting out is not an option. I think the both of you should try to reach a compromise. Okay, why don't you try seeing someone else? Why don't you try seeing an another counselor? Miriam, that will be the third counselor. The first was this woman. She was just unbearable. Miriam, oh my god. And then this doctor came around and now who knows what else they're gonna give to us? Kyojin, giving up is not an option. You are a woman. You're a keeper. You should keep your family together. you're thinking about. When Raymond asked for a change of counselor, 
we knew we had to deploy a new way to address both of you. So, my husband and I... Well, well your husband. My husband and my partner. Wow. A doctor and a professor? Are you people saying we have a lot of problems? Oh, that's far from it. What we're saying here is that every marriage has its own peculiarities. So, we're going to state the classes. And I would like to speak with you. One and one. Woman to woman. And you, Raymond, it's gonna be you and I, man to man. No problem. Abiodun, I want you to tell me how it all started. Hmm. It's a long story. I have all day. Don't you have other clients you want to see today? Biodun, we both have six months to do this together. So? I don't even know where to start. Start from the beginning. From the very first day you met him, your wedding day, anywhere. Just anywhere. My wedding day. I knew this marriage was headed for the rocks the minute I said I do. It's okay. It's okay, baby. You know, we fought about everything. We fought about practically everything on that day. She, she, she complained about my black tuxedo the moment she stepped up to my side at the altar. She complained about the choice of music the band was playing at the time. She complained about the, the suite that we had booked for our honeymoon. She said that the color was too pale. She complained about everything. Our honeymoon was hectic. I can't even remember how I went through it. It was a terrible experience. Look, I hate to admit this, but after the honeymoon was when I began to regret ever getting married to her. So how long have you been married? We've been married eight years. Oh, that's a long time. And she's been like this all along? She's been like that. As a matter of fact, she's getting worse by the day. So what triggers a rage? It could be anything. Sometimes it's her mood, sometimes it's the weather. Silly things. Look, I think the bone of contention here is that my wife thinks that I am an irresponsible man who's loose and flirtatious by nature and does not have any kind of control. I think that's her problem. He complains about everything. He says I'm a waste of energy in bed. Yet every time I try something new, he accuses me of cheating. I just can't please him. He finds the fact that I am a successful businesswoman intimidated. Raymond complains about anything and everything. Honestly, Professor, I don't even know what we fight about these days anymore. Did you ever try to talk things over? I mean, talk things out? Talk to Raymond? Raymond doesn't listen. <laughs> He'd rather walk away. That's what he does. He walks away. Find a way out. Now, Raymond, walking away is not a solution. You don't have to walk away. Communication. Effective communication is the solution. That gives room for both of you to come together and be able to dialogue and reason. That gives you an opportunity to be able to hire it out. If I did not walk away, the times that I did, I would have done something very stupid. Look, this whole thing is energy sapping. It feels like hard work. Hmm. 
Well, it's not about um, hard work. You see, a diamond with a flaw, it's actually better than a pebble without imperfection. This is a lot of work for me. It, it's almost as if I have a point to prove, like, like when some sort of competition, do you know how I felt when I realized from reliable sources that she was building a house? I felt like my crown had been taken away from me. I felt that like I had to do something to regain my position as the head of the house. I had to do something to top her. So the perfect opportunity came the moment she got that contract and needed some financial assistance. Of course, I couldn't tell her that I wasn't buoyant enough. I had to do something out of the box. So what did you do? I, 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 I stole from my father's company to, to, to raise her the, the money that she needed. And as I speak with you right now, an innocent man has been held down in the police custody for it. All because I wanted to please her. Oh, you see, relationships can be very, very challenging. Right from the various stages of marriage, down to cohabiting and childbearing. Yeah, but this could actually uh, make us to have bad feelings against ourselves or each other. It's about how ever couples have to learn to adapt and be strong. Whereas here in um, Pacific Family Life, has this, our program is practical oriented, right? And so, uh, Mr. Debuter, the bulk of the whole issue lies with you and your wife. <sighs> Doctor, what do I do? Talk. You have to talk. It creates room for dialogue, effective communication. This enables both of you to be able to dialogue, to reason, and work it out, and be able to bond as couples. I love my wife. I still feel fireworks for her when I think about her. I love Piodo, but the moment we, we find ourselves in the same space, the moment we're together, it's a different story entirely. Uh, my brother, you see, the truth is that love is not about breathlessness. It's neither about excitement, not even the desire to mate, you know, every second in a day, right? Love is actually what is led from a burnt out fireworks. As a matter of fact, it's an heart and a fortunate accident. Okay, so you both have to find a way to work it out. Communicate, sit down, and work it out. You don't expect to feel the same way you felt the first time after being married for a very long time. Well, that is how it's supposed to be. Love is supposed to be forever. Hey, it won't if you don't grow in love. Okay. What replaces passion and excitement is longer and more meaningful. Expecting love to be a perpetual explosion of emotion can leave you frustrated and disappointed especially when those feelings you know when those feelings inevitably subsides professor please help me i need to save my marriage what do i do you want me to teach you my winning formula please i beg you i love my husband i love my marriage mm -hmm. okay fine have you in any way heard of the word compromise? Compromise? Yes, compromise. You see, you have to drop your position as a first child. Drop your sense of, you know, a rich businesswoman. And try to put your husband first in every situation. Like? Seriously? Like, yeah. Dropping every ounce of pride. <laughs> it's called selflessness. Are you saying I'm proud? 
Wow. No one has ever spoken to me like that, actually. <laughs> but this sounds like a hard thing to do. What if I do this and it doesn't work? Then try again. This must just be your last chance for love. Both of you need to find solace in each other's embrace once again. <laughs> Did you say embrace? That sounds so very alien to my marriage. Ah. You need to understand one another. Sacrifice for one another. Communicate with one another. At the end of this emotional journey, both of you need to make a faithful decision as to whether to stay in this marriage or end it. You know, um, hey. You're having a moment? Yes. Wow. Ah, okay, um, you know what? I, you know, I was actually. It's okay. Whatever you're thinking, I think I must have done a fantastic job. I made, I made, I made food. I made, I made food. I, I, I hope you like it. All right? I. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? You know how great I am in the kitchen. Oh, sorry, sorry. Sorry, I didn't hear you right. I actually thought I heard something, so it's spread. No, so I made loud. food. Serious, I made food. I didn't want you to come here and be bothered about anything. I made food. Every other thing that you can think of in this house is all sorted. All right, I'm handling the kids. As you can see, we are happy. Everything is just perfect. You made food? Yes, I did. Wow. I was actually rushing back home to make food. Oh, well, it's all taken care of. All right? That's really good. Can you just sit? All right. Um, Ramsey, can you, can you take Naomi and your friends to, to your room? Huh? Daddy and Mommy wants to talk. Take it easy, baby. All right, guys. Wow. When did um, Miriam bring the kids? I did. You did? Why? I mean, why? I wanted to help. Wow. Is everything alright, Raymond? Because, I mean, this new thing has sort of freaking me out. Are you sure you're okay? I mean... Yes, I am. See, Raymond, I really didn't mean... You didn't just have to... Shh, it's fine. I'll handle it, all right? You didn't have to take that money for my sake. I'll handle it. Do you want me to help? <laughs> I'd let you know if I need your help. I'm so sorry I put you through all that. I mean, how did your dad take it? Oh, well, as expected. It was heartbroken. Oh man, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to take it for granted or anything, you know. Especially with the house, I didn't think it was gonna. I'm, I'm really sorry. It's okay. Sorry. How did we find out anyway? Does it matter? No, it doesn't. Right. All that matters is that you and I are here right now together. 
And I know for sure that my heart is still in love with you. I love you so much, God. I really do. I am still so in love with you. Sure. We should try and make it work. I really would love to make it work, but this time you'd have to promise to give me the whole of your love and trust in totality. Hold hands with me as we go on this journey and while we age together. I can try. I want it. I will. I promise. I love you, baby. I want you to know that I would never let you down again. I could fall in love with you. No matter who you are, or where you're from, or what you do, I could fall in love. I used to be crazy. I don't know how he does these things, man. If I could, don't tell me he's gonna do that. Play my life to shine. He's a comic genius. Trust right me, now. he is. I'll take it. No, I wouldn't let go. I'll give my voice to the So, Mr. and Mrs. Adeyite. So, <laughs> so, so now that you guys are through your session, what do you have to tell us? <laughs> no, go ahead, say something. No, it's your shit. <laughs> say something. Oh, well. Well, 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 I'm evidently happy. <laughs> <laughs> Afraid to take the risk if you just see right through. 